Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you two essential recording and editing functions in Logic Pro. These are take folders and quick swipe comping. So real quick, take folders allows you to record audio into Logic. You can also do this with MIDI and store multiple takes in a take folder. Quick swipe comping allows you to create a composite take out of your audio recording. So you can piece together the best parts of each take and create a composite take. Now, for example, I'm going to be recording vocals, but this could apply to any DI instrument or any instrument that you can record with a microphone. Now, one thing I do wanna say up front is this is not necessarily the proper way to record vocals. I just can't be in two different places at the same time. So normally I wouldn't be tracking and singing right in front of my desk like this. But, you know, just for demonstration, this is the way I have to do it. So I've got my Logic project here. And the first thing I'm going to do is create an audio track, which I've already done. And I'm going to set the input of that audio track to the same input as my microphone. So I've got my mic plugged into my Symphony desktop unit here. And I'm going to go ahead and mute it because I don't like to hear myself while I sing. A lot of people do like to hear themselves when they sing. And I'm going to input monitor and arm for record, and you can see level coming through the channel strip. So the next thing you want to do is decide what section of the song you're recording. So for me, it's right here at measure 49. And what I like to do is I like to set the cycle range around the area where I want to record. And not only does this just give me a visual aid of where I'm recording, it also means that every time I press record, the playhead is going to jump back to the start of the cycle range. So I'm gonna set it right here at bar 49. And this section goes up through bar 64. So I'm gonna set this a few bars after 64 because my vocal phrase just sort of tails off at the end of it. Now I've got my lyrics pulled up here in the notepad just for reference. And all I really have to do at this point is hit R to record. I can actually turn off input monitor here. But there is one preference we need to make sure is turned on to make sure that take folders function the way they're supposed to. To check this, go up to Logic Pro, Preferences, and then go to Recording. And then from here under Audio, make sure that Cycle Off and Cycle On are both set to Create Take Folder. This means that overlapping audio recordings will automatically be stored in a take folder. Okay, so all I have to do at this point is press R and start singing. I'm gonna turn down my speaker volume and I'm just gonna use my headphones as an audio reference for the music. Personally, I don't like to hear myself in the mix singing. I like to sort of leave one ear off when I sing, but that's just me. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not a great singer, so I'm probably gonna do three or four takes and then we'll comp them together. The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low I need to feel that beat Feel the beat of the drums I want to hear your voice When the morning comes Just want to live this life Another trip round the sun You make me feel alive You're my only one You're my only one, girl you're my only one. Okay, so there's my first take. I'm just going to unarm my track, unmute. And yeah, it's just a regular audio region. It's no different than any other audio region. So if I want to do another take, all I have to do is just record right on top of this. So I'm just going to mute my track again, arm for recording. And I don't even have to set the playhead back to bar 49. All I have to do is press R again and it'll automatically jump back to bar 49. Although I do have a four beat count in, so it's actually coming in around 48 instead. So let's try that one more time. I think I messed up the last two phrases. The rhythm was a bit off. The world has got me feeling so down. It's left me battered and torn. Got me lower than low. I need to feel that beat. Feel the beat of the drums I want to hear your voice When the morning comes I want to live this life Another trip round the sun You got me feeling <laughs> So that happens too You make mistakes um, I try to go for a high note that I can't hit right now <laughs> So what it's done here is It's created a take folder 
So you can see take two, the one that I made the mistake in, it's cut short, and then take one. Now, one way to approach this is you can just click on these to jump back and forth between the two different takes, but we're actually gonna create a composite take out of these takes. So I'll demonstrate that after I get a, a few good takes down. So let me try that again, and let's see if I can get a halfway decent take this time. The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low I need to feel that beat Feel the beat of the drums I wanna hear your voice When the morning comes I wanna live this life Another trip round the sun You got me feel alive You're my only one You're my only one, girl you're my only one. Okay, that one had uh, plenty of mistakes in it as well, but I was actually able to get through the whole uh, the whole take, and actually the ending sort of taglines were more accurate there. So let's do uh, two more takes. The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low I need to feel that beat Feel the beat of the drums I wanna hear your voice When the morning comes Just wanna live this life Another trip Now one of the other things you can do with take folders that's really helpful is you don't have to start at the beginning of the take folder. You can start halfway through, maybe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start around measure 55, and I'm gonna sort of punch in. It's not really a punch in function, but I'm gonna kind of punch in the second half of this section, because I feel like after I say the morning comes, I'm running out of breath. So I want to get a good breath and then jump into the second half and see if I can get a better take. Just wanna live this life, another trip round the sun. You make me feel alive, you're my only one. You're my only one, girl. You're my only one. Okay, so when you're done doing your takes, what you can do at this point is just double click to open up the take folder. I'll just zoom up a bit here. And then what you can do is you get this little extra tool and you can just drag and swipe over different sections of the take folder. So essentially anything that's shown in blue is being used as part of the composite take and anything that is shown in gray is not being used. So now let's go through and let's use the quick swipe comping uh, editing technique to find the best parts of this recording or of all of these takes. So what I prefer to do is turn off snap and then set the locator, so set the cycle range around each section, sort of phrase by phrase. The world has got me feeling so down. It's left me battered and torn, got me lower than low. So that's take five. I can click on the next one down, so take four. The world has got me feeling so down. It's left me battered and torn. The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low The world has got me feeling so The world has got me feeling so down So I think take three is my favorite for the opening phrase The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low You know what, I think the second half of this phrase I like tech take three But I think from here to here I like take four. So that's how quick swipe comping works is you just drag over the area that you want to use and it'll push this part of the take up into the composite take. So when I play this back, you're gonna hear this section on take four and then this section on take three. The world has got me feeling so down. It's left me battered and torn. Got me lower than low. I need to... The world has got me feeling so down. It's left me back. And if you need to adjust the sort of joining point or edit point between the takes, you can just sort of grab it and move it around and put it wherever you want. So I'll just put it there. And then I'll move over to the next phrase. And let's see what these sound like. Oh, I need to feel that beat, feel the beat of the drum. Yeah, I feel like I'm a little hurting for breath there. Oh, I need to feel that beat. That one's kind of pitchy. Oh, I need to feel that beat, feel 
feel the beat of it. Also pitchy. Oh, I need to feel that beat, feel the beat. Also pitchy. Let's go to take five. Oh, I need to feel that beat, feel the beat of the drums. I wanna hear your voice when the morning. I need to feel that beat, feel the beat of the drums. I wanna hear your voice when the morning comes. Okay, so take five was the best take there. Then we'll move over to this next section. We're at the halfway point. So this is where I did that little punch in. Let's see what take six sounds like here. I feel like I was a little pitchy when I came in. Just wanna live this life, another trip round the sun. You make me feel alive, you're my only one. I like that whole take except for the beginning. So the cool thing about this is I can just, you know, grab another section here. Let's do something like this. Maybe like that. There we go. I always try to edit in between the gaps, in between the phrases. You never really want to edit on top of a waveform like this. That's usually not going to sound very good. I want to live this life, another trip around the sun. You make me feel. And you can just click and then you can jump to another take and it takes that whole selection down to or up to another take. So let's try out take five there. Just want to live this life, another trip around the sun. You make me feel alive, you're my own. I might have messed up the lyrics on all three of these. Thumbs, I want to live, thumbs, I want to live, thumbs, I want to live, thumbs. Just want to live this life, another trip around the sun. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with take five, and the lyric there is just want to live. Now, I want to, so I kind of messed that up. Just want to live this life, another trip around the sun. You make me feel alive, you're my only one. Okay, so now the little taglines at the end. I think the last one was pretty good, but there were a couple other ones that were pretty good too. Definitely not take one. So let's try out take six. You're my only one, girl. You're my only one. Yeah, that one's kind of flat. Let's try out take five. You're my only one, girl. You're my only one. Take four. You're my only one, girl. You're my only one. You're my only one, girl. I like take four, the beginning. Um, let's see if there's a better ending. You're my only one. You're my only one. So sometimes you'll get situations like this where the front half of a phrase sounds good and then the back half of the phrase sounds good. And here I I don't think any of these sound, you know, particularly great. So you can kind of get away with editing in between uh, or right on a waveform, but it's got to be an area where it's the the amplitude or the volume is pretty low. Um, it does automatically fade. It automatically cr cross fades the edit points for you. But you just have to be really uh, mindful of where you place those edits because sometimes they don't sound great. So let's see what this sounds like. You're my only one, girl. You're my only one. It works there, but... Other times, it, it may not work. So you just have to be really careful about where you place those uh, edit points. Okay, so that's the quick swipe comping portion. So I did six takes. I ended up using four of those takes for my composite take. And then when you're done, you can just double click up here to collapse the take folder. And at this point, what I like to do is I like to flatten and combine everything or just consolidate everything. So what you can do is there's going to be a little letter here. It'll be A, B, C, um, click on that. And then what you can do is go down and there's an option called flatten and merge, or you can press option U for this. And what this will do is it will kind of consolidate or join everything together, including all of the crossfades. So now what I can do is I can come in here and I can you know, trim this up. I can add fades. Shift control is your shortcut for adding fades. I can scroll over and I can maybe use my marquee tool to cut out some of these gaps. Once again, I can do some more heads and tails editing. All right, so off screen, I added a few effects just to sort of level things out. I added the uh, LA-2. 
I added auto tune. <laughs> I added AVOX warm just to give it a bit of tube saturation. This mic is not necessarily meant for uh, sung vocals. This is more of a podcasting, broadcasting mic. Uh, a little EQ and some uh, quick compression just to catch uh, the peaks, the transients that the LA2 is not catching. So let's give this one last listen. The world has got me feeling so down It's left me battered and torn Got me lower than low I need to feel that beat Feel the beat of the drums I wanna hear your voice When the morning comes Just wanna live this life Another trip round the sun You make me feel alive You're my only one You're my only one, girl you're my only one. So there you go. That's how you can use take folders and quick swipe comping in Logic Pro for recording vocals or really any other instrument with a microphone or a DI guitar too, any DI instrument. Basically any audio recording you can pack into take folders this way and comp using quick swipe comping. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.